Hey everybody, welcome back to the greenhouse in the cabin, the homestead. Trying to get some work done today. I was hoping to start building the floor on top of the foundation now that I'm just about finished backfilling. Uh, then I can start, what? Oh, I've got the beams to put on. So I've got big 6 by 8 timbers going on top of the walls that I've built so far. So that was what I was preparing to do today. And on top of that, I can build the subfloor. But I don't know if you can hear, there's some rumbling in the background as the thunderstorm coming in. So I think what I'm going to do instead is is uh, brought a chipper back with the four-wheeler, wood chipper. I talked about chipping all the uh, debris around here so I can start building up soil um, composition here, get, get, get a lot more organic material and water retention. It's so sandy and the, the soil layer, organic layer, is so thin. Um, on top of this sand that it's just not holding any moisture so over the next few years I just have to keep building up the nutrients in in this section in the garden and the most abundant thing to do that with here right now is all these dead branches with all these conifers especially you get a lot of dead branches on the lower parts of the trees where the Sun can't get at them and uh, it's a fire hazard for one thing for me living here and it um, it's not really providing much benefit it does when it hits the forest floor it has nutrients to that but I'm gonna steal that put it into the clearing but also right behind the cabin and around the cabin I want that area cleaned up of debris I don't want fire hazard I don't want fuel lying up everywhere on the ground and on the lower branches of the trees so I'm gonna trim all that stuff off chip it and uh, spread that all around the cabin um, like right around the footprint of the cabin on the outside um, which will do two things it'll build up a little bit of an organic or an organic layer of soil there too so i can plant some stuff right around the cabin but um, even more importantly for now especially during the building process it, um, it just clean up the site a little bit so it'll keep my logs clean in particular as i drag them through the clearing to get them up onto the cabin walls if it's a nice uh, thick layer of of wood chips that's going to keep the uh, ground clean and the, and the materials clean so as soon as this rain starts that's what I'm going to jump on
much for that idea. It's up two inches hardwood and this thing I guess it jammed but it broke some bolts and the um, it's got two blades inside full width of the bottom of the hopper and one of them bent looks like the bolt broke and uh, one of the bolts is like six bolts in each one and the blade was bent out and it looks like it must have come up as it was spinning it must have hit against the steel frame of the hopper and stopped the motor dead and it broke off a few bolts and I can't even see where they came from so I'm gonna put this thing aside I need to get it to the workshop I guess and spend some time tearing the thing right apart and, and what probably gonna have to use a tap get that uh, bolt out broken bolt put some put a new blade on there and then see where what else broke something inside the drum I guess um, where those bolts came from so I don't want to do that right now time's a ticket I need to get to to the cabin build so I'm gonna put it aside and I'm just gonna deal with with the dirt <laughs> I think maybe what I'll do is I'll drag some some of the bigger logs in that aren't debarked and debark them right here so I've got all that fresh bark at least on the ground that'll keep it pretty clean so uh, what am I going to do now? I guess I'll pull this thing back out to the workshop with the ATV and see what time it is. So I'm going to get to uh, get a couple of timbers on or get the holes dug. Right now there's two walls, two walls, and then center wall. But I need posts in the ground six feet, like uh, pillars six feet into the ground there and there to carry the center center beam that, that crosses it's like a floor beam I guess so that's the plan <laughs> anyway <laughs> thanks for anyway that's the uh, that's the challenge of doing stuff for yourself and you know dealing with the weather and everything else at the same time it looks like we might get another storm starting to get dark again Anyway, that's uh, that's life in the backcountry. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to uh, get back to this and maybe tackle the rest of this tomorrow. Anyway, if you're interested in following along, seeing what seeing what happens over the next few days as the sun comes back and I can get back at this, then uh, you can click on the playlist in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, or just the next video or the, or the most recent video. Well, depending on when you watch this, will be in the top left hand corner of the screen. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time. Take care.